Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Room Service. This is a short horror film uh, that you can find for free on YouTube on Elsa Charitier's channel. We'll get more into that. Now, normally, I don't really cover uh, indie projects like this, uh, which we probably should. We probably should spend more time, uh, but there's just not enough bandwidth at the time. Uh, but the reason I'm covering this is because it's very much comic book adjacent, right? Uh, the people behind this film... Um, are comic book creators that I follow and I enjoy their work. Uh, and also, the people behind this film have a, an actual comic book that ties into this film. Uh, it's Room Service Number Zero from Image Comics. We did a review for it in the channel uh, whenever it came out a few months ago. I'll put the link in the description. I'll also link the, the film itself so you can go watch it. It's uh, got a short runtime, 24 minutes. Um, I don't have a rating, but I would assume it's rated R, if you know, but it's on YouTube. So like, you know, no ratings there. Uh, let me give you a quick synopsis here. Uh, a glimpse into the horrifying world of the caretaker. Uh, in this film, you learn more about the mysterious faceless entity known as the caretaker, how clients book services and the depths of the, the depravity he's willing to provide for the ultra wealthy. Uh, this film is directed by PK Colonet. Uh, screenplay by James Tien and the Fourth, produced by Elsa Charitier, with executive producer Jack Hersent. Uh, now, this was a film that was done on Kickstarter, this whole project, right? The comic, the film. Uh, it was something that the team had already kind of put together a pitch for it, uh, and it was funded through Kickstarter, which is great, uh, especially for smaller projects like this. Um, <clears throat> the film stars uh, Richard Keep as the men. We also have An Angela Signa as the woman. Uh, the caretaker is acted by Nance Pearson, who does the body performance, uh, but the voice is done by Richard Keep. So the, the caretaker uh, is a character that wears a mask. Uh, we'll talk more about the design because it's very cool. Uh, so yeah, it's done by multiple people. Uh, so overall, I really enjoyed the, the short. I think it was something that it got very efficiently to the point, very efficiently. Um, it gave you the story of what you needed to know uh, and and it, it uses a lot of very interesting tricks to kind of build out this world in in the small amount of time that it has. Uh, also, visually, it's just very interesting, right? There's a very cool juxtaposition of like this neat, super clean aesthetic uh, with like the depravity of the services that are being provided, uh, or, like you know, countering countering some of that stuff. Uh, I think it's very cool. Uh, and everything looked very interesting from from the first frame of the film. You could just kind of see that everything was planned out, every step. Uh, there's little clues and, and things uh, uh, that really guide you into the cyclical nature of these services. Um, as I mentioned, the character of the caretaker, uh, the character design is very cool. Like, you know, the aesthetic, the mask, uh, the idea of this individual who you don't know who they are, you don't know what their main part, like, what their motivation is other than providing this service in, in exchange for money, right? Uh, but it's not all about greed. I don't think it's all about any of that. I think it's just about really a lot of the mental games that happen. Um, one of the things that really helped this uh, ambience was the great music. Um, every scene felt like it carried you from one place to the other. Uh, it really helped build the tension, build the atmosphere. Uh, so I really love that. Um, speaking of that, the intrigue in this uh, story, it builds very quickly from the moment that we meet this the man who is frantically kind of walking towards this uh, place. He's got instructions in his hand, and, and we don't learn about a lot of the backstory, but we learn enough about these characters to not only be invested in what's happening to them, but also to understand that there is a power dynamic, uh, that there's definitely something uh, right going on. There's something that's not there's somebody's kind of being forced against their will because of the situation that they may be in. Uh, you can definitely tell just from this film how the the disadvantaged, the poor, the desperate uh, go into this deal, uh, you know, without really any agency left at all. Um, so it's it's a very interesting power dynamic. Uh, there's little surprises at every turn. I think the sets were very well planned out as well. Uh, and although you only really get minimal locations because it is a short film, um, everything is just at, at every corner, every door that opens, every little thing, every little place that you look 
there's something that keeps building this story and it gives you a little clues of that. So that's actually really fun, especially by the end of the film where you kind of know what's going on uh, and they kind of rebuild uh, this facade uh, from the beginning. It's very, very interesting. Uh, and then, of course, the character dynamics, right? The power dynamics between the characters that we follow. Uh, they're just very tense, very wild. They go from one to a hundred in a minute. Uh, I think this was very well performed, both actors. Uh, specifically, Richard Keep had this uh, these few scenes of like this frantic desperation, the despair in his face that you could tell. Uh, and then, you know, opposite that, uh, the character of the woman uh, really brought that kind of depravity, uh, but also a contained a contained uh, depravity and rage. Right? It was it was very much like uh, finesse. So it, it was a very interesting performance. Um, overall, I really enjoyed this. I wish I had to back the Kickstarter uh, at a higher level because uh, I wanted to see more of the like uh, the little storyboards that Elsa put together. Uh, I'm a big fan of Elsa's work. I, I really love her aesthetic and, and the look of, of things. Uh, but, you know, this was just a great, great thing. I hope that we get more of this world. And I think we can, even if it's in comic form, uh, I, I would love to see more of Room Service. Uh, but if, if this goes all the way to like film or a series, I think it'd be pretty great. Um, I think it would work, really work out really well as some kind of like a mini series. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully things are happening. Uh, for these creators because they've worked very hard on this uh, and I could just see like all throughout their campaign. Uh, so really, really enjoy this. Highly recommend it. It'll take you less than 30 minutes to get through the film, uh, but I think you'll want to rewatch it because like I said, there's a lot of little details that you may miss if you're not really paying attention. So if you have seen this film, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments as always. Thank you for watching everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live, that is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone.